So our first question, can you talk more about people with mental health? Some older generations don't believe in it and believe that praying cures it and making God cures it. So can you just elaborate on this? Um, yeah, I'm sorry. So the question is, can you talk more about people with mental health? Or talk more, yeah, talk more about, there. <laughs> Thank you. Can you talk more about people with mental health? Some older generations don't believe in it, and they believe that praying cures it. Uh, Bismillah. That's a really, really big question, and for that reason, we have an entire session about it tomorrow. Uh, inshallah, I will be one of the speakers in that session, so please come to that session. Uh, it, it's not something that we can just answer in one minute. Uh, it's a very uh, complicated question. It's not uh, black and white. But uh, to just kind of give a very, very summarized answer, uh, it isn't a black and white cookie cutter answer. There are some situations where medical intervention is necessary and needed, and um, it doesn't mean that one has low demand for seeking medical help. Uh, there are some situations where a different type of intervention is necessary, uh, so it really depends on the situation. and. Uh, one thing I will say is that regardless of whatever health situation you have, uh, diabetes, cancer, mental health, any any situation, uh, dua and salah will always help regardless. And so it's not um, one or the other. Uh, we need to stop thinking in very black and white, um, you know, it's either this or it's that. But they're not mutually exclusive. Uh, so it just inshallah we'll talk more about that tomorrow. Okay. okay, I'm going to move on to the next question. So the next question is, I feel that often we are told to be ambitious at such a young age where we do not know what we want to do yet, or we are ambitious about too many things and in the end we lose ourselves. So what do you recommend to those of us who do not know where to direct this ambition and make practical use of it? So, uh, so excellent question, um, and, I, and again, I encourage you, just like uh, Chef Suleiman mentioned and Sister Yasmin, uh, there's, there's really a lot of resources out in our world. We, we do not live in a universe that because without with a lack of information. We, have, we, we are living in the greatest time in human history where we can connect to things, concepts, formats, people that can aid us in everything. And it's interesting that the prophets have told us that hikmah any wisdom in the universe, it is our right to go and achieve. So I, I encourage people to go to either life coaching or people. There's so much references online. I do some stuff, but there's so many people. That, uh, there's so many people out there that do it a lot better than uh, myself or uh, you know. Uh, there, there's a lot of experts out there. But I would advise you though is that ambition is something that comes from two things. Number one, understanding and knowing yourself. So you can be ambitious to be LeBron, and you can't dribble a basketball. Those are dreams; they're not ambitions. Anybody that stands up in front and tells you, or that little, you know, little, you know, Instagram video with the nice quotes on the bottom, and say you can do anything, that person is a liar and unfollow that person. Because you cannot do anything in life. You have to understand yourself, and we usually do not understand ourselves. So we don't put ourselves in a position to uh, public speak work in teams, uh, do karate, draw, write, art. You know, we, we have this extremely cookie cutter system of determining who we are. And really a lot of people flourish outside of that system. So you have to understand yourself. So that includes volunteering, shadowing people. Uh, you know, if you cannot memorize, and you, if you're a person that loves to work with people, and you hate to study alone, and sit in a, in, a, in a library for 10 hours and study, you know, med school might not be the best thing for you. It wasn't for me, I realized that at 22. I went to the medical field and made a big U-turn. Because you gotta understand yourself. So number one, understand and analyze yourself. Push yourself, you know, try new things, shadow people, engage with different people, and find out what you're good at outside of what people tell you. And then number two is, is really that you need strong mentors and people that can guide you. People that can help you understand which direction to go in. And if you can at least choose a field or a direction, then there are hopefully a lot of people in there. I usually encourage, sorry for the wrong, wrong answer. I usually encourage if you're in college early on, you talk to somebody that's early college, late college, mid-career, end of career. 
you get perspectives from multiple people at multiple times in your field, and then you can get good assessment. Is this for me long term or not? And talk about uh, those are the techniques and the things that you can do. But really, uh, you know, ambition is a nice word. Really catchy YouTube videos, but that's not how you determine your ambition. You got to put in the work into understand yourself and where you want to go. Jazakallah khair. So the next question is when you work hard on something towards when you work hard on something towards your passion, how do you accept that the results are not good enough to continue the journey? Facebook. Okay, spin that. Um, so there's this thing that's really amazing in Facebook called unfollow, and no one asked to know. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, 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 uh, so I, I, I give that a like button, a big like button for that comment. Just do that. Uh, really, really eliminate, eliminate the things. As Sister yes Yasmin mentioned, eliminate the things in your life uh, that affect you. Just a small study, exactly, it's probably like uh, Sister Yasmin referred to it beautifully. You know, it's so subconscious. Uh, there, there was a test study of young people, uh, I think it was college students. They gave them, uh, very quickly, just to understand how powerful the mind's control is. Uh, they gave a group of young people, uh, they gave them a hot cup of coffee and had them read a passage in a book. And the passage was analyzing a, a character and and they gave the same story to other groups of people and they gave them a cold cup of coffee. And then they asked them later on about what they understood, what, how they felt about the character. The people that were holding the hot cup of coffee, they mentioned that the main character was warm, loving, and caring. The people with the cold cup of coffee, they mentioned that the character was cold, distant, and kind of mean. It is so subconscious the way the world affects our psyche and our mind. So you really have to be careful what you let into the front door, that, you know, your, your conscious. It can, it can tremendously impact you even though we don't realize it. So I like button for the comment about unfollowing. <laughs> 